Yeah, absolutely. I'll run hey. this to you. Uh, only lend sand out to people. <laughs> yeah, it's only about five or six turns off the bottom and just mullered it. Whoa! Come on, Andy. They're down there. They like the yellow. This is yet another fish on the... Oh, no, this is a high energy boat rod, 15, 20 pound class, and the Bowway 50 multiplier. We've got 30 pound braid on here and a shad. Uh, just a few turns off the bottom and it absolutely got slammed. And uh, it's put it up quite a, quite a fight on the way up. We're in, we're in a good 100 meters of water. And yeah, he's still thumping his head down there. Didn't uh, it didn't feel like a pollock take when it when it took, and uh, it was just a very violent take, but without a crash dive. And uh, uh, he's had some hard head shakes on the way up. So any minute now we'll find out what it is. Can can you see? Can you, yeah, it's, so it didn't feel pollocky. Can you can see any colour yet, Andy? So it can't be. Yeah, he can't be too far away. Here he comes. Yeah, here he comes. Yeah. Definitely so, need the net, yeah. Yeah, it's a cracking pollock. Come on, you beauty. That's a lovely fish. It's the way to do it. Come on. He wanted that, he swallowed it. Yeah, he's, he's right in there. Lovely pair of pollocks. Nice in the sunshine, Yeah, it? beautiful. Great. Yeah. Inhale that the old shad, right? Yes, love it when a plan comes together. Okay, well, we've had a pretty good day today, as you can see. It's a cracking pollock, and they've been coming out on a variety of lures. Um, it's been a couple on the WSB perk, bright red, silver flash on there. Um, the silver shrimps proved very effective, plenty of mackerel on it, and so the first pollock I had this morning was on these. Um, Hawkeyes and the Muppet rigs, they've, they've also produced. Uh, these 120 mil shads work very well, and the baby brother, this little 50 centimetre shad, that brought up um, one haddock we've had today, and that took this tiny little thing. It's that paddle tail right on the end, uh, just a slow retrieve, and that wiggles as it comes up and wallop, and that's what the fish pick up and uh, the vibrations of down there. Another one that's also always very effective is the orange jelly worm. Um, long, fluttery tail there. Again, orange has always been a good colour. We're 90, 90 metres, it's like 300 feet deep. Somehow, fish down there can see that colour, so that's been very good. Right, another product I've been using today is the WSB ball bearing snap swivel. Um, top quality ball bearing swivel with a very strong snap link on the bottom. About 200 pound breaking strain, it's five in a pack, and it allows you, um, say certainly when you're out perking in a boat or using sheds, Stick one lure on, when you finish with that, quickly unclip, off, stick another one on. You can swap lures within seconds. Um, great piece of kit, ideal for deep water wreck fishing, quick change of perk or lure, or for all you guys that fish up in Norway. Very strong, smooth running ball bearing swivel with a very strong snap sling. Right, another WSB product that's been really useful today is the Sea Boom. They're 300 millimetres long, and the way we've rigged them is rear line comes down. We've got a, it's a 10 ounce lead on the link. Um, rear line goes through the boom to a swivel, and then beyond the swivel, we've got a long flowing fluorocarbon trace down to a shad. So. What the, the way the boom works is hanging off the rod tip like that. When you drop down, the boom stops 
the trace and the shed from tangling around the rear line on the drop. So it get, get, pulls down like that. So it just gives it well, it's about eight, nine inches away from the rail line and helps you avoid tangles. So, very useful piece of kit.